All right, Cammie, thanks so much for that. Again, roads still damp out there, but fortunately temperatures are above freezing, and I think we'll just look for wet conditions this morning. Uh, really, our impact from the next storm, pretty minimal, all things considered. It may be a bigger wind producer, especially tonight into tomorrow more than anything. Uh, we could also see after the drizzle this morning, a rain or snow shower late today into tonight. If we're going to see the wet snow, I think that would come overnight. And uh, even here tomorrow morning, I've still got temperatures about the same in the low to mid 30s. So uh, precip should be much lighter than what we saw yesterday with this system. And most of the snow is going to be in the north. So I think impacts for us pretty minimal, all things considered. Outside this morning, it has cooled a little bit. Now 34, but fortunately still above freezing right now with an east wind at 8. The pressure's low as we find ourselves between weather systems. Yesterday's storm way off to the northeast now. And you can see we've been left with low clouds, very uniform temps in the low to mid 30s. And our next weather system way out to the west, currently producing snow already from western Nebraska through Wyoming and Colorado. Temperatures, though, mainly in the mid 30s right now. Lincoln 36 again here in Omaha, it's 34. And down in northwestern Missouri, we're at 35. Up to the north, the cool spot there, Denison on the Iowa side at 32. Again, we can see the clouds, low clouds and a little fog on our Viper HD satellite. And we're not alone here in Omaha. Northwest Missouri through western Iowa, all the way back from eastern and essential parts of the state. We've got the clouds in place. And then the clouds really thicken up to the west. You can see over western parts of the state, that's in around the storm. And it's very well defined, kind of churning back here over east central Colorado. And that means heavy snow for Denver this morning. We draw on the warm gulf moisture from the southeast, bank that up against the Rockies, go up in elevation, and voila, you get moderate to heavy snow, one to two inches an hour coming down and even expanding a little bit out in the central and western parts of our state. So with that being said, uh, again, we're on the warmer side of this system right now. We'll keep low clouds around, temps in the mid-30s overall early this morning. And then as we slowly climb to near 40 this afternoon, notice the moisture increasing back to the west. In fact, you can see maybe a light rain shower here late this afternoon, this evening. But look at this, the mix and then heavy snow. Looks like we'll start to see moderate to heavy snow, say from Valentine, Nebraska, up through the Dakotas there. But again, it looks like the track of that far enough north to keep the snow threat mainly to the west. So for today, still mild. Breezes increase under cloudy skies with the high of 45. Uh, a shower possible late this afternoon and this evening. Otherwise, maybe a little wet snow overnight. But again, lows not changing much in the low to mid 30s, which is a good thing. And then tomorrow it is going to be windy. And after a rain or snow shower early, we're actually relatively mild at 40 degrees. And then a little bit cooler, seasonably so, I think Thursday into Friday with highs in the 30s. Lows, upper teens to near 20 for wake up temperatures Friday and Saturday morning. But look at the weekend. Here we go. Partly cloudy 45 Saturday, partly sunny near 50 on Sunday. All right, just a reminder, we still have a lot of winter to get through, and you can download our Snowcast app to your smartphone. Uh, did a pretty good job again yesterday once it kind of got its uh, hands wrapped around what was coming in. And uh, once again, we may see that go off a little bit tonight, but I think most of the snow is going to be north and west of us here. All right, time now, 617, just turning over to